Hi there, Scott Whitley here. Today I'd like to talk about, um, I'm going to call it a secret um, feature of the SWB1 uh, active base, okay? So all the active SWB1 bases come fitted with the EMG BTC control active preamp or EQ circuit. Um, and it's it's a really, really good circuit. I love it. it. I find it very transparent. It's very musical. It doesn't boost to ridiculous extremes. Um, and But here's the thing. Here's the secret bit, okay? Um, it's customizable. So what I mean is uh, the bass control is fixed. So um, the way that control works from the factory is, is, is preset. But the treble control, you have four different options, uh, four settings that can be changed inside uh, the control cavity of the bass to make it work in four different ways, to give you to basically a different frequency response um, from each of the four settings. So to get in the bass to do these settings, it's quite easy, you just need to remove these four screws um, from the uh, control cavity cover, and inside you'll find one of these. So as you can see, there are two dip switches giving us four possible combinations and that equals four different treble frequency responses for the treble control. So here we go, this is setting number one of four. Uh, this is with both the switches on, in the on position. This is my favorite um, setting, it's the way I've got uh, my active bases set at the minute. Um, and the reason I like it is, uh, it's the, the frequency at which your treble control is centered on this setting is, is a little lower down the frequency range, so it's, um, almost upper mid it's 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 not quite but it's it's um i'm guessing it's centered around 2k that's what it sounds like something like that maybe three um and the thing is so it can be quite aggressive you know and um, it can really give you some bite from your sound but it's it's only sort of affecting as you can see from the diagram um a certain you know a bandwidth if you like it's not um it's not a shelving eq so it's not boosting the real real highs you know like the sparkly sort of 14k stuff uh, that's kind of left pretty much flat i guess um by the time it gets up there so i really like it it's, it's particularly good um for for pick playing and stuff but i'm going to start with fingers this is in the neck position okay um let me see okay treble is flat so here we go let's see what that sounds like Okay, if I boost that all the way, I wouldn't normally do this, but just so you can hear what it's doing. Okay, flat, boosted. So it's like, you know, quite aggressive, as, as I said, uh, which works really great for, for pick, as I say. Um, so if I just, uh, without boosting, so this is flat. Boosted. I'm not going to go all the way, I'm just going to go maybe where I would like it. Okay, it really gives that attack and, and punch to your sound. Uh, works great for slap. I'm going to put the um, uh, both pickups on, uh, boost the bass a little bit and, and boost the treble a little bit and get that really nice bell line. Okay. Uh, another reason I like this this particular setting is because it's uh, working on kind of slightly lower frequencies, not low frequencies obviously, but lower. Um, if I put it in the uh, the bridge position and roll that off, I find it works like um, a bit more like a tone control, uh, uh, like a passive tone control would. Uh, so when I cut. You know, it's kind of, um, it's rolling off a lot more uh, of the, the high-end information. Flat. Off. So, yeah, it's a really, really cool setting. Um, and, and that's setting one of four. Okay, so I just want to share a little tip with you. I'm going to set this bass to um, setting two of four. Um, and what I've done, and, and it's just if you want to do the same with your own bass, if you're playing around with these settings, is 
just got a little bit of masking tape um, on the back there and it just saves keep putting the screws in and out okay um, so just yeah a little tip see you in a sec so here we go setting two of four um, this works very similar to setting one okay so it's only working over you know like a, a notch of, of frequencies kind of thing quite a wide one but um, again it's not a shelving type EQ and uh, now the center frequency that the um, or, or the frequency that the treble is centered at has moved higher up the, um, the frequency range so I think you know looking at the graph it looks like it's maybe around six or seven K so this is going to sound like a little more kind of hi-fi if you like when you boost it um, uh, so let's give it a go so we'll go back to the um, we'll do the same sort of demo um, neck pickup uh, let me see treble flat here we go boost the treble all the way again I wouldn't normally just go ahead and do that but here we go Flat, boosted all the way. So you can hear it's it's kind of less aggressive than setting one. It, that, that that's my way of putting it. It's less kind of um, uh, it's it, it's more subtle in that respect. But it's boosting. Um, it's certainly sounding more kind of sparkly. I would say. Go to the. Um, both pickup setting, flat, bit of slap, and then boost it. Okay, so it, again, it's it's very very musical. Um, to my ears, setting one. Sounds kind of more like you, you know you're playing through an amp and it's and, and it's kind of mic'd up nicely. That it, it's got that kind of vibe, less DI'd if you like, which I am obviously DI'd. Uh, and this is getting more, like I say, more kind of sparkly. But if that's your bag, it's going to work really well for you. Um, in the bridge position, okay. Uh, again, just flat. Boost it a little bit, and all the way off. Setting two. Back in the room, setting three of four. So things change up a little bit here. Um, with this setting, um, it's it's more like a, a shelving type EQ. Okay, so what's going to happen is, uh, as you turn the treble up, it's going to boost frequencies from, let's see, uh, it looks like about, um, again, centre, I, I don't know, like, it's really going to start kicking in around 7k, um, apologies, apologies EMG if that's incorrect, but that's what it looks like from the, the, the graph there. Uh, but then it's going to sort of keep boosting stuff right up into that sort of 14k, you know, the, the, you know, the top of the spectrum area. Which is that real kind of sizzle, that 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 term, that breathy kind of area. Now, this setting, for me, straight off the bat, is is great if you if you kind of into that really uh, beautiful kind of tapping stuff and that. Um, I'm not great at that, but let me try and show you what I mean. So, boost the highs quite a bit. Um, Again, nice for slap. Getting more into that, like I say, hi-fi kind of tone. Let's let's do what I did with the other settings. Uh, neck pickup, uh, set the treble flat. Here we go. Okay, boost it all the way. So it's 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 not nearly as harsh, if you like. Um, uh, I don't don't mean that in a bad way, but 
um, as as set in one. Um, it but it really is kind of it's just accentuating that kind of air, if you want to call it that. Um, and it's giving um, the bass almost an acoustic sort of quality. If I play that with a pig, uh, here we go. Okay, it's like got that real sparkle going on. That's boosted all the way, by the way. Uh, both pickups on, bit of bottom end in there, and just a little bit of this sparkle. Let's try that with a pick. There you go, setting three or four. Okay, so here we are, setting uh, four of four. Uh, in this setting, uh, the, 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 the frequency at which the treble control starts working is lowered again, very similar to setting one. Uh, but this is going to make your treble control do the most stuff of all the settings, okay? So what it's going to do, it's going to start boosting kind of, you know, like around, again, it looks like sort of, you know, two... 2k kind of thing is where it really starts to kick in maybe three i think uh, but but here's the thing um this is gonna boost the frequencies all the way up to the top of the spectrum uh, from there onwards okay so let's have a listen um neck pickup soloed um treble flat here we go boosted all the way check this out That's a lot of treble. That's a powerful control you've got there. Um, so, so that th this would work well um, for for kind of you, if I was using this setting, um, I'd use very subtle kind of boost. So let's do the pig thing for example. Okay. So here's flat. And if I just boost that a little bit, just a bit, a bit more. So you get that kind of honky kind of almost mid thing that, that I talked about with setting one, but it's bringing all that sparkle with it as well. Okay, which may or may not be your bag. Um, again, it, it, it's gonna work great for slapping. Um, let's have a listen. So just a little bit of boost, middle position, here we go. Um, uh. Okay, and finally, um, we'll go to the bridge position, and again, we'll, we'll look at that kind of, uh, we'll boost the lows, boost the highs a bit. Um, uh, roll the treble all the way off. So there you have it, the four secret settings um, of the SWV1 Active Bass. Hope you enjoyed that and have some fun with your own bass. See you in the next video. Cheers.